Welcome to day one of Wonder Junction. This experiment is called Star of Wonder. And in this experiment, we're gonna teach the kids how the Christmas star could not have been just a typical star. So first we're gonna teach them a little bit of things about the Earth. Uh, you've got your big sun here. This is just a great big balloon. Um, I've got a little earth ball. You can use a globe, whatever, or you can even just use a ball pit ball. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna decorate the room with some stars. So we're just gonna use some painter's tape and just put some stars around the room for the kids to use in their experiment. And there's another star. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna talk a little bit about how the earth rotates, how it revolves, how fast it's going, which is kind of fun to do. And then for the experiment part, we're gonna have the kids put their finger somewhere on the globe, doesn't matter where, they can even be in the water, they can be in Antarctica, anywhere they want. And they're going to actually try this and see. The Jesus star, we're told, went before the wise men. It stopped and stayed over where Jesus was born. And the normal stars in the sky don't do that. So if they put their finger somewhere and they point at a star and they're looking at a star and the earth is rotating, they're no longer pointing at that star. So the star appears to move in the sky. It's really the earth rotating. And so this was to teach the kids that the Jesus star was indeed an extraordinary thing created by God. So you can, if you want, have um, little glow-in-the-dark stars and give kids one to take home and put on their wall in their room as a reminder uh, that the Jesus star was supernatural. And that is Star of Wonder. Welcome to Wonder Junction Day One Science. The second experiment is called Cone in a Cornfield. This experiment is going to be about one of the natural wonders of the world because we're in Wonder Junction. One of the seven wonders of the world is a volcano named Paracutan, and it is in Mexico. And the reason it is one of the seven wonders, natural wonders of the world, is because this volcano occurred or was born not that long ago, and people were able to record its entire lifespan. It was in a farmer's cornfield, and he was out in the field and he noticed a fissure in the ground, and the next week it started growing and growing and he had a cone volcano. So what we're gonna do here is we've got a pie plate, we've got some sand and some scissors. And if you just cut a little hole, the way a cone volcano works is the ash flies up, or the lava, I suppose, flies up into the air and then it falls down and lands on itself. So you can pretend this is the falling ashes and as it grows and grows, your volcano will get taller and taller. There's also a video that you can watch. Um, there is a chemical reaction that happens uh, and really, really looks like uh, this type of volcano. Or since this volcano is fairly new, there is actually footage online of Paracutan itself growing. So this was the second experiment for day one cone in a cornfield.